if they don't join together? Oh dear, now they have over 1600. Hello and welcome back to the Ronin, and as you can no doubt tell, the Batanians have begun a siege defense, and as I was talking about in the previous episode, the AI scarcely likes to head into siege defenses like this, unless they are extremely, extremely aware of how much more effective they are over their opponents, which is exactly what we are now facing, so... Let's just take a quick look and see what is going on with the walls because two sections of wall have been destroyed as far as I am aware. So I just need to locate those two places and then hopefully I'll be able to defend them reasonably well. I mean, I've already seen one. There's one. Where's the other? Oh, there. Is that is that it? No. Yeah, 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 that is it. Okay, so you, they're going to be coming through this little tunnel here, I assume. That's actually, or no, they're going to be coming through here. Oh, there's so many different places that they could come through. That is actually kind of harsh. Right, I'm going to leave people on auto-delegation as much as we possibly can. That usually is the best course of action to take, unless you have a better idea of the uh, current strategic situation, which I suppose I do, don't I? Don't I? I I'm not entirely sure, to be honest, at this point. Because on the one hand, what I could do is I could pull everyone back into like a central courtyard and then just fight everyone there. Um, and that might actually make more sense than what it is at the moment. Where are... Where are my... Oh no. Am I lost? Am I... Am I... Uh, here we go. Here we go. Around here. Yeah, this is where we need to be. Alright. So, yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, I could basically pull all my people back to like a central courtyard and then go from there but i'm not entirely sure if that's the most effective strategy here murder him murder that guy yes i've used the m word twice now that's not good that is that is probably going to come back to bite me now isn't it oh no yes murdered there we go very good okay so this is actually really good uh, it seems like our people are doing a fantastic job of um kind of keeping them back oh dear not so much now. Okay, here we go. Uh, super worried about this. Um, not entirely sure how to play this, to be honest, because on the one hand, I'd like to use my one-handed, because it is quicker, easier to use, easier to block with. And on the other hand, I really want to use my pole arm because it is super, super efficient at what it does. It's able to kill things in pretty much one hit every single time. However, it is slow, unwieldy, and I will never be able to block with it in a million years. So there's also that. Um, let's just hope that my people are actually doing a decent job. They're doing good, actually. I think it's because of the bottleneck. It's because of the bottleneck situation right here. They really don't know what to do about that, I suppose. This is good. This is actually working much better than anticipated. I actually thought that we were going to sustain so many casualties in the first charge that we were just going to be like, okay, you know what, we surrender. You know, something like that. That was probably my prediction for this, but it seems like we're actually doing fine, surprisingly. Ah, ah, no, no, don't get stuck there now, thank you. Okay, these guys coming in. Be a bit, be a bit careful, be a bit careful, there we are, there we are. Nice. Yes. Okay, there we go. How, how, I don't know how many we've killed personally, but we're going to take a look at that at the end of the battle, if there is an end, obviously, because at the moment they seem to be just endlessly just entering the, the keep here, and it is uh, not not too bad, actually. We, uh, we seem to be playing really well. The friendly AI seems to be playing really nicely, because they are standing in positions that give them the best possible chance of survival not maybe not these guys standing out here by the walls but the guys back over here they are really in great positions they're making themselves into diff difficult targets for the opponents ranged they're you know being very very consolidated in working together and in generally making it very hard for the opponent to deal any damage to them at all so that's really nice Okay, come on now. I'm going to have to use some overheads here. Don't really like using overheads with the polearm. I feel like they are very inaccurate and slow and difficult to use, but it seems like we're doing okay with them. How have we... How, how are we doing this? 
Oh, this is good. This is very good. I've not taken any damage either, which is actually amazing. I would have expected them to target me straight away, considering I'm in this position. But I suppose they're too concerned with so many of our, our, of our units just kind of being in this area here. And even if they do try to target me, I can just try to run over the spikes. Obviously, it's going to be a bit, a bit janky to do that because running over the spikes is going to cause a little bit of. Oh, maybe I can. Oh, maybe I can do it. I might be able to do it in a pinch. Hopefully, just got to switch to my one-handed and then go on from there. But bear in mind that we cannot lose any people. If we lose considerable amounts of units without leveling the playing field, then this is going to be a surefire loss. Okay, come on now. How are we doing? I'm kind of scared to press tab to look at the current situation of the battle because I don't really want to jinx myself in such a dramatic way. Because, uh, I mean, this is, this is probably one of the best and largest siege defenses that we've ever done in any any Bannerlord series so far because as I say the AI rarely likes to go in in a siege defense unless they think they can win and they obviously think they can win so I'm gonna do it okay so this is what we've done so far wow we've actually done fantastically well we've killed 364 and the enemy has only killed about 20 of us they must have I, I mean that can't be the case they, ha they have high tier units it must be our formations our formations must be the reason why we're able to do this. And we have pretty decent units as well. Do bear that in mind. We're not running around with recruits or anything like that. We do have pretty decent tier 5, some tier 6, and so on units. And if everyone is in this kind of formation, in um, in the keep, in alternate locations, in other, in other places, then we are going to be absolutely fine because all of these guys are going to lend their shields to their neighbor. They're going to fight very closely together and it's going to aid everyone's ability to stay alive, which is exactly what you want. So I am overjoyed that that is actually happening right now. Get him, get him, get, get, get him. Get, uh, never mind. Yes, I was actually contemplating going on one of the ballistas on the um, on the castle walls, but the problem with doing that is that while it's fun, like no one's business, it is actually not that effective. Like, yeah, okay, I'm able to kill, like, I don't know, two, three people with it, maybe, but how many have I killed right here? I actually can't tell. Um... I've killed 89. Yes, I have killed 89 units with Byron here. And I think that pretty much says everything you need to know. You know, about how effective this is in comparison. And as I say, I was thinking about using my one-handed as well. But then I thought, well, what's the best way that I can deal damage in, you know, a, uh, a, 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 a the most efficient manner? Because one slash usually will kill someone. Whereas with a one-handed, even though it is much better in terms of defensive qualities, it is going to take multiple attacks to kill one person. And I didn't really want that, because the longer I'm in melee range with the enemy, the ju the, just the worse it gets, you know? The worse it gets. So the more I'm able to literally just go attack someone, move back, attack someone, move back, then that is pretty much all I need to do. And that's the thing, I don't think it's only my weapon that is causing me to do well in this particular siege. I'm not even just talking about personal achievement here, I'm talking about our forces. Our forces are actually capable of living because of their formation right here. I've, I've not put them in this formation, this is purely them. Um, at, you know, auto-delegation and so on. And that is making all the difference. Them being able to do this and stand side by side with each other makes so much, so much difference. It really does. No, 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 no. Ooh, that was close. Thought we were actually going to sustain much more damage there, but thankfully not. How many more units are they wanting to throw at us? Because they've got a lot of people. I've got, I've got to be careful of this guy. I've got to be careful of that guy. He's got a two-handed. Oh, it's a Batanian hero. No doubt. Okay, I'm going to have to switch. 
Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. Okay, apparently he was he was thinking uh, better of it, I guess. But yeah, you can see... I mean, I'm able to do damage, but not really that much. I mean, yeah, you know, I can do damage. I can deal about... <laughs> well, it's, it's widely variable, shall we say. Well, yeah, it's wildly variable. Nice, nice. Okay, let's switch back to our to our pole arm right here. I'm just gonna switch to my one-handed if I need to be defensive for any reason. I'm I'm really surprised actually that the AI is not attacking me because they theory theoretically could have literally just charged at me with multiple people. Ah, here we go. Oh, they're actually starting to do that now. Okay, I actually got myself stuck a little bit, which was not good. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't die now. I'm gonna try and jump away from here. Yes, there we go. Okay, kill that, kill that horseman. Okay, we're having some issues here. They're starting to breach our lines. That's not good. Oh, enemies coming from behind? Are you serious? Did you see that? I didn't notice. I didn't notice them. Okay, how many have we killed now? We've killed 800! We've killed 815, but I feel like we might actually end up losing still. They still have 400 to go. They still have another 400. That's an insane amount of units to think about here. Especially considering I only have 150 on the battlefield right now. I'm actually wondering whether I'm going to even be able to continue this. There's a guy behind us. Get him. Yeah, okay. It was just a hired blade, but still. Uh, and an Imperial Legionary as well. Seems like my people are kind of ignoring the ones on the uh, on the sides of them, which is obviously not very good. We need them to be as aware as possible about where damage is potentially coming from. But obviously, they're, they're more worried about the endless flow of units entering their uh, combat radius, I guess. I, I don't know. I actually don't know what's happening here. I'm not entirely sure if this is going to be a victory or not, but I think it I think it should be. I, I don't know. I mean, literally, just think about this. If we had any less units, like I have 144, okay? Now, I have technically 700, but I don't think they allow every single one of your units to spawn in to a siege defense because that's kind of their... Um, it's kind of their defense against overwhelming numbers in a garrison or something like that. I, I think that that is the case, at least. I mean, oh, we've got to be careful here. Okay. Uh, no. Thankfully, this guy is literally just a trained archer and can't really do any damage to me. That really saved my, um, saved my bacon there, so to speak. It was going to be problematic otherwise. I'm going to just jump over here. Get him. Come on. Oh, oh dear. Okay, this is bad. Ooh, that was a Palatine Guard. Why, where, where do they come from? They must sneak around. They must be sneaking around. Are, are, are these the only people that are actually still alive in, in the keep? The, the ones that are right next to me right here? I'm actually not sure. That's pretty bad. No, it seems not. We are receiving more reinforcements coming to this area, but... Um, yeah, we're, we're having enemies come in from somewhere, so there, there must be some kind of breach. Is that it? Yes, it is. Whew. All right, all right. Okay. I was actually, by the way, reading the wrong um, the wrong side the whole time when I was like, ah, oh, we have 150 remaining. No, that was actually the atta the attackers' numbers. Yeah, I was reading that wrong the whole time because I was just so incredibly stressed.
that um, I continually thought that we were the attackers because let's face it, we always are, aren't we? We always are the attackers. So that, that was the reason why that was happening, I suppose. Anyway, I killed 206. And you can actually see the um, various little proficiencies that I've actually gained over the time in the fight, which is actually kind of amazing. Look at that. You can actually see all of your, uh, all of your units gaining certain skills that's actually amazing i like that i like that a little bit there all right so look at that we uh we gained to 104 renown and 74 influence i mean obviously this doesn't matter at all but it's actually kind of interesting to see and there it is we were actually able to achieve a victory in a siege defense do your eyes deceive you no they do not i thought i was uh, I, I thought i was hallucinating for a second there because the, really having this happen is unheard of in my opinion okay we're going to be taking uh, all of these prisoners and i will be putting them in the garrison here straight up just putting them all in there nywin has died nice that's one of the uh that's one of the more major vassals of the batanians that's really good okay so donate prisoners Let's see who we want to put in here. We don't want to put in any of the uh, any of the lords or anything like that. So we're just going to be putting all these. Technically, I could sell all these, but I have 10 million gold. What do I need gold for, right? Okay, let's just do that. There we go. Did I gain anything for this? Did I literally gain anything for this at all? It doesn't show. Right. <laughs> okay, apparently I didn't gain anything at all. Well, that's kind of interesting anyway. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're done. We're done with the siege defense. I can't believe it. Okay, that was really nice. So let's have a look here. Okay, so we have athletics. Um, hmm. Right, okay, yeah. So technically this would be really good if I did not have 10 endurance right now. And I probably should have factored this in to my character build, but it doesn't really that make that much difference, I suppose, because otherwise I would have had 10 in cunning rather than 10 in endurance, and then I'd have 10 endurance right now. And there's also control attribute being increased as well as vigor attribute being increased later down the line. Oh, look at that, decreased fall damage by 50%? That feels new to me. I, I don't think we've, have we had that ever? Well, that's actually fantastic for me because I always fall off all those places. But anyway, we're going to be taking energetic party suffers 20% less speed penalty from being overburdened because endurance attribute plus one is frankly not that useful for me at the moment. And uh, yeah, I am supremely surprised and pleased that we were able to achieve a victory here. And I'm now going to start chasing down any other vassal that I can. Um, I think what I would like to do is I, I don't, do I have any major vassals, any clan leaders in my, um, no, no, right. No clan leaders in my prisoners hold. So I won't be able to do anything with them, but that's, that's fine. That's fine. We don't need to continually execute everyone that we come across, of course. We just need to eliminate the um, the heads of the Hydra, so to speak. So, yeah, that's going to very much help us in the end, I suppose, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, I am very pleased. Wow. That was actually super fun as well. I really like that. I would have liked to have gotten on a ballista, as I said before. I think getting on a ballista is, like, one of the most fun things that I can think of in a siege defense. But personally feel like we might have actually ended up losing that if I had um, slacked off a little bit, you know? If I had slacked off at all, I probably would have handed the victory to the opponent. Because if I had not eliminated those 200-something units, I think uh, it probably would have resulted in something really bad. So... Ah, uh, yeah, it, 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 it's one of those rare moments, actually, in Bannerlord, especially, where you are going to affect the battle in some significant way, because that's actually always how it used to be in Warband. Whenever the player would be in a battle, you'd need the player to actually do something, unless you were obviously, like, super overpowered and uh, your, your troops were dramatically better than the enemies but um in this case yeah that um 
that was that was really impactful for me to be in there and and doing what I needed to to do. That was really impactful. It's it's not not often that I, that is actually the case in Bannerlord, as I say. Usually, your troops are either going to win or they're just going to lose with or without you. Um, at least that's what I have seen so far. Obviously, this could be different for you because you might be better or worse at the game than I am. I don't know, but basically, I'm just saying that player skill. I think comes a little bit less into Bannerlord, whether you win or lose, than it used to. But not in this case. In this case, I personally feel like we certainly needed to, to kill those 200-something units, even though we still had to kill over a 1,000 to get anywhere there. But anyway, um, the one problem I'm now having is that we are so far away from what we can call civilization is that I cannot go and get any replenishments for my armies. And that's a bit of a problem, because we're running around with... A, well, I, I, I don't want to say a skeleton crew or anything, but we're running around with a significantly reduced strength. And I can only expect the Batanians to come back here with a massive army once again. I wouldn't be surprised. So I can only hope that Vizduna, or whatever her name is, is going to come over here and uh, see to it that uh, Varnovapol is defended adequately enough so that my efforts are not in vain. But bear in mind that that was a lot of fun. And I suppose that's all we really need, isn't it? We just need a little bit of fun here and there. Every so often. And now I have to be very careful here. I was, yeah, Balgard was way too powerful, in my opinion, for my current army to take. So I'm just going to do this the old-fashioned way and just attack the castle first. Yeah, this one's going to get killed. There we go. All right. Yeah, so now it's going to take them a little bit of time to get back on their feet. But the Batanians, they're going to come back with a vengeance, no doubt. And we just have to be cautious. You know, just have to be a little bit cautious. Oh, yeah, my wife, right? My wife, I do need to go and see her, don't I? Yes, I do need to go and see her because at the moment... Where is she? She's oh, she's at Cyronea. That's actually that's actually much closer than before. That's much better. Oh yes. Um, hmm. I'm I'm wondering if I can figure out a way for me to get down there relatively easily. Hmm. At the moment, probably not. Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe if I go through Epicrotia territory and go through there. And then swing round to Sirenea. I mean, it's so far away. No matter how you slice it, it's going to take me at least, I don't know, five, maybe six in-game days to get there? I'm actually not sure. Maybe I'm maybe I'm misestimating that. I, I could be over-exaggerating, potentially. Ah, uh, hmm. Well, I suppose we'll see. Anyway, we are absolutely bombarding the opponent right now. They've already lost about 150 or so units, which is really nice. And they only have 37,000 left in the wall's HP. Hello there. Mm -hmm. Yes, they already have another army up and running. And as you can see... What? 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 What, what is this? Look Look at the... What? What is... Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. I, I don't even understand how they're able to do that. They have... Over 100 Imperial Legionaries. They have over 40 Imperial Palatine Guards. They have over 70 Manavliotons. They have um, an insane amount of really high tier units. They even have horse archers. The really, really good horse archers from the Imperials. They have Oathsworn. They have Sturgeon Heroic Line Breakers, for goodness sake. Yeah, those guys know what's up. And, oh, look at that. Seems like our wife actually just won the tournament at this place. That's uh, Nazari Town, I believe. Well, not not anymore, of course. But um, really? She's only got 16 skill points in athletics? That's very strange. I thought she had much more than that, but I guess she rides around on a horse most of the time. I would assume that to be the case, at least. All right, so I'm very much hoping that this, this guy is not going to... Oh, there's two of them. Hmm. I... I what, what am I what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Because here's the thing. Okay, so these are my options. Run away, go back to Varnovapol. That's option one. Option two is 
lead an assault right now, use my siege equipment to take the castle, and then have a siege defense in the castle itself with the walls intact. That might be okay, but bear in mind that we don't have the garrison of Van Overpol with us, and we would have a pretty significant advantage if they decided to besiege Van Overpol again, because no doubt the walls are somewhat intact now. All right, I'm going to take option one, I suppose. I... I don't know, actually. I'm not entirely sure what would have given us the advantage here, but there's over 1,400 units here or something like that? There's, no, there's actually more. There's actually almost 1,600, actually. Uh, they're just fighting some looters. Okay, that's kind of weird. No, there's actually 1,550. Never mind. Okay, yeah, so that is pretty... <laughs> that's pretty scary, actually. That is pretty scary. Okay, so 257 in the garrison here. That's not enough. That is not enough. Oh dear. Okay, we might have another siege defense on our hands here. If they don't join together. Oh dear. Now they have over 1600. If they don't join. Oh, I, I don't know whether I need to leave. Oh, they're actually going to do this. They are actually going to do this. No, they're just raiding the village. Oh, whew. okay. I would, you know, I was actually kind of worried about that for a real quick second. I was very, very worried about that. I thought to myself, yes, they're going to almost certainly head in here. And if they headed in here, then I didn't even know what to do. But for the moment, that is going to be it for this episode. I know, I know. A little bit, uh, a little bit cliffhanger-y ish, maybe. I'm not entirely sure if they're going to head in here next. But I'm actually interested to see where that other fellow goes, because he might go over to one of these places, but these places are very well garrisoned by now, I would assume. I actually really want to make peace with the Batanians, to be honest. I don't really want to fight them anymore, but no doubt the Batanians are pretty much de declining every single effort for us to make peace, and we are declining it as well by the looks of things, because there are 0% of people wanting a peace agreement with the Batanians, because we would have to pay them 5,500 tribute for some reason. I guess it is because they are technically winning, but still. Uh, we're we're kind of even. We're kind of even at the moment. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.